Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Reviews. You see my title below? Yes, this is on episode 7 of Keijo. Yes, another episode of Keijo. I'm always so hyped up and excited for new episodes of this. Like, literally, like, one of my favorite animes of this season. Come on, like, who doesn't love, like, a bunch of these hot girls with, you know, these nice outfits? Kind of shonen like battle sequences, smack each other with their booties and boobs. It gets to the point where it's like some, you know, like I said, Dead or Alive Exchange Beach Volleyball. This anime has it, man. Comedy, action in a weird way, um, and then of course a lot and lots of fan service. Which honestly, come on, who doesn't love that? So obviously, this episode pretty much less left us off with um, from last episode pretty much being Nozomi has one major flaw of her body, according to Shiryuki. To which, of course, you know this episode honestly has a ton of hilarious comedy moments in this. And a lot of butt shots in Nozomi as well, considering this is a training episode for her. It's pretty much the whole episode is focused on her and her training, obviously, because we find out that her butt has gotten bigger. Her pretty much after training for the vacuum butt cannon thing, her she gained a lot more muscle on her butt. But by the problem with that is that I mean, you know, I, I don't think there's any problem with that. But the problem for her is that pretty much now she's slower and people can predict what she's gonna do thus making it sure she's got the power but she doesn't have the speed and anyone can just dodge it easily so that's her major flaw considering after all that hard work it sucks but yes that is the problem um so of course you know this chat this episode pretty much is like pretty much a direct training the last one obviously there's a little bit more by the looks of it of the battle gonna be the practice battles that they're gonna have in the next episode but by the looks of it by the end of this episode it showed that the next episode will be the start of the east west war which honestly if you know watch my last review you've known that i am super hyped up super excited to see all of that kind of that that arc like literally we're gonna have all these other girls from a different school get to see some more crazy ass like like different moves that we've already seen i mean in this episode we've already learned a new one the butt flash yeah um interesting names always every time it's an interesting name like butt flash like all i'm thinking of because i've been watching you know if you i don't know if you guys have been watching but i watch um cw's the flash and then, like all the thing is I am the you know the butt flash it's like oh my gosh what the hell oh um, but yeah there's there's a lot of moments in this one that literally just has me cracking up first off obviously being the fact that Nozomi doesn't know what's the problem with her body at first so she obviously waits in the room for Sayaka Sayaka enters a what's wrong what's going on and Nozomi being Nozomi doesn't explain it instead she just starts stripping yes stripping and Sayaka is just full on blushing like what are you doing she we have Nozomi over here just like oh how do I look how does my body look what what's good about my body oh is my nip is my nipples too dark or something oh is there something around my crack my butt crack like what Nozomi what's going on what are you doing and it comes to the point where of course Sayaka just slaps her out of the room butt ass naked in front of Nan and Kazane I'm just cracking up like literally what the hell was up with that scene like literally I was just cracking up like oh my gosh but of course yeah like I said she did find out what's the problem Shiryuki comes up with a plan obviously Shiryuki along with the other teachers pretty much were saying that you know talk about the East West War and all that kind of stuff and Shiryuki seen a lot of promise in obviously you know Nozomi which is surprising considering it seemed like to Nozomi probably that you know she's had that major flaw and seemed like she was the only one that could not go against you know Shiryuki the most honestly we saw the other girls could not go against her either and they've even mentioned it during that whole current kind of thing when they're going against the current and we get a moment where I gotta say Shiryuki's body is just amazing like holy crap that bikini just fits her so well and then you have her just you got sticks coming around boom boom boobs just smacking him out of the water and also, you know, Zomi wants to try and follow and do the same thing as her. To which the point, she, like, pretty much gets hurt. Like, I don't know. <laughs> is that real? Like, if a stick's coming at you and you try and whack out of the water, it's going to hurt that much? I don't know about that. But pretty much, she learns a little bit from that, at least. Um, but this is where the point where, obviously, she has her new training. Her new training to which Shiryuki starts giving her is, of course, guess what? 
I don't know why I said of course, because it's not like a thing that you would normally think of, but it's pulling turnips out of the ground. Yes, but guess what? It's not just using your hands. Like when they were going through that turnip field, I'm like, what's going on? Is this going to be one of those weird, like, you're going to like kind of like Karate Kid wax on, wax off kind of thing. Normally you think, how's that going to help kind of thing. And in the end, it kind of is like that. Instead, she's pulling turnips, but using her butt. And of course, this is where Shidayuki starts talking about the almighty butt flash kind of thing. Not almighty, but it's a pretty interesting skill that she can use for herself considering her butt, you know, her flaw with her butt and everything. Obviously, that this will help with her butt being too slow. So she starts doing it. Shidayuki shows off, um, shows her how to do it, pulls it out easily. Nice job. Then we have to the point where obviously they have to, like I was wondering like, are they gonna have to pay for these? Considering, yeah, like, Nozomi is just pulling them out and ripping them out. Like literally the leaves part only or ripping them in half. And it comes to the point where throughout the episode, she's literally ripped off like literally the whole field practically and has to pay for all of that. And I'm wondering like, how expensive is that? Do they have that much money that they could, she could just keep ripping all of these off kind of thing? Cause damn. And of course, yeah, they end up pretty much eating turnips throughout the whole time. But of course, another funny part in this is that all the girls are now using the UTMs pretty much. And yes, that scene that we saw in the last episode. I guess I'm guessing that's just how they do the their previews. It's not after the credits. It's just like before kind of thing. Um, but pretty much we get to see that whole scene with them putting them on. All the girls. It's a more extended scene, obviously. All the girls talk about. Oh, it really does make like it makes your boobs bigger kind of thing and Kazani's just like this rubbing them. I'm just like oh my gosh best girl nice old pie old pie <laughs> but it comes to a point where obviously you we saw in the last episode with um Sayaka thinking you know like you know like oh they're they're bouncing and the other girls are like oh sorry sorry they're just apologizing to her and she's just getting all mad it is completely hilarious there's a lot of hilarious moments besides the whole Nozomi thing that happens between Sayaka and the rest of the girls because it's like a pretty much a running gag that's going on throughout this anime is that Sayaka does not have the biggest boobs obviously and another part is obviously when they're talking about Nan and her being a klutz and Sayaka's you know kind of agreeing you know not agreeing with her being like oh she's good she can you know she don't be don't cheer like that but it's hard for her to think like that considering she was wearing Sayaka's clothes yes Nan those clothes are too tight and she even has the you know I was about to say the balls, all she doesn't have the balls. She obviously has the, you know, she pretty much says that, you know, oh, no wonder the bra was too, sm was kind of tight. I'm like, oh, you don't say that, Sarah, to which, of course, she ends up getting mad. But it was like all those moments between them in the locker rooms and all that kind of stuff was literally, honestly, just hilarious. Then, of course, like I said, the rest of it, this episode was pretty much just Nozomi trying to figure out what to do, how to do this. She got a little bit help from um, Kusakai pretty much like telling her you know what you have to do how to do it <laughs> considering she pulled it off on her first try and poor Nozomi was like I've done it like a whole day and I couldn't do it and she does it on her first try to which of course she finally figures out with the whole wagon thing as well on how to pull it out um obviously the main thing in this between the whole interaction between Kusakai and Nozomi is the fact that that stalker girl is going to be the one challenging Nozomi obviously because she does not like the way um, Kusakai is interacting with her and kind of taking away the attention kind of thing so she's jealous and that's going to be the next battle practice battle kind of thing in the next episode so that should be pretty interesting to see um, but yeah you know that whole training thing when she finally figured out what to do the it, it became so shonen like so full on epic kind of thing going on the music the soundtrack was on point it's raining it's storming lightning like a you know flash of lightning like the butt flash kind of thing and she just like it's range like and it's like just so hyped up like it's like someone trying to learn like in a shonen like someone trying to learn a special move or something and that was pretty much what it was for her like i was there, like whoa okay this is getting pretty hyped up for the butt flash move like what the hell you know but honestly another awesome episode another crazy you know new move another episode full of comedy and yet a lot of fan service as always, another awesome episode of Keijo. To which, like I said, I cannot wait to see the next episode, obviously being 
the, the battle between the stalker girl and Nozomi should be pretty interesting but what I'm super excited for is of course the east west war that is going to begin we get to see some of the girls up here in that little preview thing that they did show with Nozomi like don't treat her you know pretty much like I guess they were dissing the school so she's pretty much like don't don't you know diss our school guess what we're gonna beat you kind of thing it just slashes her or something like that and her her boob like pretty much rips like not rips her boob but her shirt rips and it shows her bra kind of thing um that would be pretty scary if it rips her boob but yeah i'm honestly super hyped another a pretty awesome kind of training episode honestly every kind of shonen anime has that kind of stuff and it's funny to call this a shonen kind of anime but if you do look at the tags it is a shonen and i mean it does have those shonen kind of stuff going on but it's just weird to say that with like something like keijo with like this booty boob opai kind of whacking kind of thing you know but it does get pretty shown in hype so yeah i cannot wait to see the crazy ass new um like different moves that the other school has like like someone said there's going to be more opai moves i'm definitely excited for that i love the opai i love to see more of that considering everything has been more of the booty kind of thing and of course considering this is where it's going to be like some big battle i'm expecting kazane to finally use her gate of babylon booty move thing which should be interesting and awesome to see as well but yeah that's all i really gotta say guys um hope you guys enjoy sam making a review if you have any questions feel free to comment below the same and you want to talk about comment below as well and if you did enjoy don't forget to give a like if you haven't already feel free to subscribe for more content and yeah that's all i gotta say guys until next time see ya